Happy New Year, my friends. Today we celebrate Epiphany in the church year. Simply put, Epiphany means to be made manifest or to be revealed. God was revealed in and through Jesus Christ. The question I ask myself is how is God revealed to us today? I was listening to a video by a pastor in South Africa where he asks the question, can God set a table in the desert? Well, if I look at Genesis and the story of Abraham, we see that God provided a sacrifice for Abraham in the place of Isaac so that he did not have to sacrifice his own son. And in that moment, God's name became, or one of God's names became, Jehovah Jireh, God provides. This tells us all about God's character, the very essence of God, this God who wants to provide for us all that we need. So yes, God provided a covenant through Abraham. Then we see the Israelites when they were in the wilderness and they asked, can God set a table for us in the wilderness, in the desert? Can God give us bread? Can God give us meat? And of course God did. God provided manna or as the Bible says, the food of angels. And God provided quails so that they may have meat to eat. And of course, God provided water from a rock. So here we see a picture of God providing everything that they needed physically to prosper. I also look at the Psalm of David, that well-beloved Psalm, Psalm 23, where David says that God leads him besides still waters and into green pastures and God sets a table for him in the presence of his enemies. This speaks to me of God's provision of peace. That if we trust and have faith in God, we can have peace no matter what we are going through. A peace that goes beyond understanding. Another way that I see that God provides for us are in the words of that song by Lauren Deagle, still rolling away the stones, or I think it says still rolling stones. The whole song talks about being in shadows and feeling like you're in a grave. And then the voice of love comes calling, the voice of Jesus. And God does the impossible. God rolls away the stones of everything that seems to overwhelm us, that will make us feel like we are stuck in a grave. God does the impossible. Through only God's power can it happen. So as we go into 2021 and put 2020 behind us, we know that Jehovah Jireh, the God who provides, is with us always, bringing healing and wholeness in every part of our lives. God bless you. May you have a prosperous and blessed new year.